everybody this is sanjana with cj infinity bringing you a tidbit salesforce tutorial in this episode we are going to learn what is multi factor authentication and how to set up multi factor authentication in our org before we get started i want to ensure you understand the basics of salesforce if you do not please refer to trailhead.salesforce.com and look up for salesforce admin basics so what exactly is multi factor authentication mfa or multi factor authentication is an authentication method that requires the user to provide two or more verification factors to get access to a resource in addition to asking username and password MFA requires one or more additional verification factors via the Salesforce Authenticator app or third party authenticator app or physical security key. This simply means MFA is nothing but adding an extra security layer to the login process. Now, why do we need MFA? We need MFA to increase the protection of user accounts against common threats like phishing attacks credential stuffing and account takeovers now that we know what is mfa and why do we need mfa let me take you to the most interesting part let me show you how do we enable mfa in our salesforce org first things first let's log in to our salesforce instance Once logged in, navigate to Setup, and on the left-hand side, you'll see Quick Find search box. In this box, let's type Session Settings. Now, under Session Settings, make sure that. multi factor authentication is under high assurance let's save it now let's create a permission set i am labeling the new permission set as multi factor authentication also fill in the description and save it now go to system permissions under system permissions go to multi factor authentication for user interface logins and check the box save this permission set once it's saved we are going to assign this permission set to the desired users in this case i am going to self assign this permission set let's now log out and re log in and test once we finish giving in the credentials and click on login we will see a prompted message here we go as you can see i've been prompted with the instructions to follow and i've been asked to download the salesforce authenticator app in my mobile phone this means mfa has been implemented now i am going to show you how do we download the app and how are we going to connect both the systems let us see the mobile view as you can see i already downloaded salesforce authenticator app as well as microsoft authenticator app you may use any of these two i am going to show you the salesforce authenticator app as an example as you can see there is a two word phrase i'm going to type in the same two word phrase on my system and click on connect i've been prompted to check my mobile phone this is my mobile view 
you can see that I have been successfully added in my mobile and on my laptop view, you can see that the welcome screen has been loaded. Let me log out. We completed connecting both the systems for the first time. Let's log in again and see what happens every time I try to log in to Salesforce.org. I'm giving in my credentials. I've been prompted with a notification in my mobile phone. I'm clicking on approve. As soon as I hit on approve, you can see that in my system, the Salesforce homepage has been loaded. This means that MFA has been enabled in our Salesforce org and it is assigned only to me. Now to have more users access MFA, we need to go back to the permission sets and go to manage assignments and add more users to it. Let's say we want to add all the users to MFA. Instead of adding one by one, I have a quick solution. You can go to quick find and type identity verification and Scroll down and you will find require multi-factor authentication for all direct UI logins in your Salesforce org. Check this, scroll down and save it. This enables MFA for all the users in your Salesforce org. Adding on to this information, please note that if any of your users are having SSO, MFA wouldn't apply. This concludes this episode and I want to thank you all for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below and subscribe to our channel for future Salesforce tutorials.